Okay, this is a frontal chest radiograph of an adult patient. There is tiny nodules scattered throughout both lungs, with no predilection zone. The left costophrenic angle is planted. This can be due to small pleural effusion or pleural thickening. Now let us zoom on one of the intercostal regions, trying to describe the nodules and any association. Let's zoom here. So the nodules are about 1 to 3 millimeters in size. They appear uniform in size and shape. There is no interstitial thickening. It's only nodules. There is no cystic change. And there is no calcific fossae. Okay, now let us again to the film. Hilar size are normal bilaterally. There is no paratracheal thickening and no evidence of lymphadenopathy. Cardiac size slightly prominent. In the periphery of the image, there is no obvious soft tissue thickening or abnormal shadowing. And we cannot identify any bone pathology. So, in conclusion, this is a case of bilateral miliary nodular pattern. And there is wide range of differential diagnosis. Simply, it can be infective, like tuberculosis, can be neoplastic, especially metastasis, and it can be other inflammatory disease, like silicosis hypersensitivity, pneumonitis, or sarcoidosis. For further management, I would review the patient history for any primary malignancy, for immunity status of the patient, and the occupational history. I would compare with the previous chest radio, and I would discuss the film with the physician. If TB is suspected clinically, I would advise sputum and blood culture for mycobacteria. And if metastasis is suspected, I would advise CT, chest and pelvis for staging and to look for primary. If other interstitial lung disease suspected, I would ask for HRCT. Here the presentation is finished. Now let us see some important points we have to look for. First, the nodularity. We have to look for distribution and morphology. The best test for that is CT scan. However, in case of tuberculosis, the nodules are usually 1 to 3 millimeters, uniform in size and shape, and distributed randomly throughout the lungs. Also on TB, cavity can be seen. Okay. The nodules in case of metastasis are usually different in size and shape. And they have slightly predominant in the lower zone as it's more vascular than the other loops in the lung. Miliary nodules of tuberculosis usually resolve after treatment and do not calcify. Also, besides the nodularity, the presence of mixed cystic change with interstitial thickening may indicate sarcoidosis or hypersensitivity pneumonia or eosinophilic granuloma. This is the first point about nodularity. Second point is the patient history. In the exam case, it's really crucial. Like in this case, if we are given a history of fever, night sweat, so the most likely diagnosis is infectious, like TB. And if we have the same image, but the history was just chronic cough, chronic chest pain, so this makes miliary tuberculosis less likely. And could be other differential diagnosis like metastasis or inflammatory. 
The third and last point, you have to look carefully for any relevant secondary finding. So take your time and tell the examiner what you are thinking about and what you are looking for. In case of miliary pattern, we have to look for breast shadow, any mastectomy, any axillary clips that indicating the previous mastectomy, look for bone, if there is any lytic lesion or sclerotic lesion that may indicating primary or metastasis, look in the neck area for any calcification, any thickening in the soft tissue that indicating, indicating uh, thyroid mass. Look carefully in the paraspinal region, could be some uh, thickening due to POTS disease that indicating this is a TB. And finally, look under the diaphragm if any abdominal pathology there. Now, let us see some examples. In this first image, let us zoom a little bit. Okay, so here we can see the familiar pattern. You can see there is mastectomy here of the left breast. There is no axillary clips seen, and there is paratracheal lymph node. So this can be or primary diagnosis should be a metastasis from breast CA. But also it depends on patient clinical history. If the patient presents very ill with other symptoms like night sweating, so still tuberculosis could be. Okay. The second case again, it's miliary nodules. We can see obvious calcified mass in the upper mediastinum. There is clips in, in the lower part of the neck. So this is a case of thyroid recurrence with miliary metastasis. The third one here, again there is a miliary nodularity. If we see the nodules, are there some large nodules, some small nodules? The distribution mostly in the lower zones, so it's not typical for miliary tuberculosis. Now, if we check carefully in this image, we can see there is soft tissue thickening here in the neck. So this is a case of thyroid CA with metastasis. Let us see this image. Really here there is subtle nodules. We can see them. There is also a fine reticulation. Slightly sparing of the costophrenic angle and apices. And this is a case of hypersensitivity pneumonites. Okay, in this case we can see there is tiny nodules, there is interstitial thickening, there is some cystic spaces there. So it's again, this is reticular nodular pattern with some cystic changes. And one of the cysts ruptured, forming a right pneumothorax with chest tube on the right side and subcutaneous emphysema. And this is a case of LCH. The last one here, it's again, we can see nodularity. We can see interstitial thickening. And we can see prominent hyli and paratracheal lymph node there. And this is a case of sarcoidosis. So at the end, careful inspection and description of the nodularity distribution associated abnormality 
are crucial to narrow down the differential diagnosis. And thank you for watching.